This is your complete guide for moving to Camas, Washington. Hey, welcome back to the Living in Vancouver and Camas, Washington YouTube channel. I'm your host, Hannah Dubine, and I'm excited you're here today because I'm making this guide for you if you are thinking about moving to Camas, Washington. By the way, if you're thinking about relocating here or ready to list your home in Camas, Vancouver, or Clark County, Washington, myself and my team at Dubine Realty Group, we'd love to be of service to you. So send us an email, a text, a DM on Instagram at Hannah Dubine, and we can't wait to hear from you. Okay, let's get into the video because I have a lot to share with you about living in Camas. The first thing I wanna go over, of course, is the history of the city of Camas. The city was incorporated in 1906, so it has been around for more than 100 years, which is amazing. The main economy for the longest time here in Camas was the paper mill. And if you know anything about the paper mill, you know that for many years it had thousands and thousands of employees and it was, you know, a good place to work and make a living. But these days the paper mill is not entirely shut down, but it's really, you know, running a thin operation and there's about 130 employees that work there. Up until the early, really 2000s, Camas was not a super nice place to live. It was kind of the gross place to live because it smelled bad because the paper mill was still in full operation. But in the early 2000s, mid 2000s ish, it really started to take off as the paper mill started to shut down. It smelled less bad, it smelled more normal, and development continued to increase over Prune Hill. A lot of Prune Hill's homes were built in the early 2000s, and those homes were really big, and really big homes mean big sales prices. And so it meant growth for the city of Camas. Camas has since been on lists online, it's had viral videos, it's just been caught in the news in a good way. It's been put on the map as one of the nicest small towns to live in. Let's talk about the demographics of Camas. So I'm gonna compare Camas versus Clark County because that just kind of makes sense. Um, Camas has a 79% rate of home ownership and that was census data from 2022 versus Clark County has a 66% rate of home ownership. So there are a lot more homeowners here in Camas, which is generally a good sign of a strong community. And the median income household in Camas is significantly higher than Clark County. So right now in Camas, it's $133,000 for the entire household. And in Clark County, it's about $90,000. There are lots of families that live here, though of course anyone can live here. And the reason lots of those families live here is because they like the small town vibe and they really enjoy the schools. Also, you will not find a ton of super young people living here. Uh, reason being that, you know, it's not a city. A lot of young people are looking for more of that walkable lifestyle, condos, downtown, out on the town, having drinks with friends kind of vibe. Um, and we don't really have that here in Camas. And also it's expensive. So naturally, as you go through your career progression, you start out making less money and you make more as you get older. What kind of jobs are there in Camas? Well, we actually have a pretty robust economy for us being a small town and we have a pretty strong presence. One of our biggest employers is Fisher Investments. Fisher Investments has multiple campuses nationwide now, but here in Camas, they have about 1,800 employees. They're right off of Pacific Rim and 192nd, and um, they have a beautiful campus with a whole bunch of buildings. It's kind of hidden behind trees. That's how the owner likes it, his things hidden a little bit more. Um, but that is a large employer here in Camas. We also have job opportunities through um, other companies just down the road, Kyocera, Analog Devices, Sigma Design. I can't forget Wafer Tech. Wafer Tech is up the street on Parker Street, kind of close to Costco. And so all of those businesses employ quite a lot of people. We also have service jobs here in Camas. We would consider these more lower paid jobs, you know, working in the boutiques, the restaurants, the bars, the coffee shops. But of course, it's essential to keep the community running. Inevitably, we have folks who still commute to Portland every day for some sort of probably professional service. Maybe they're accountants, lawyers, they work in an office, something like that. Um, that percentage of people who commute has gone down over the last few years post COVID, but those folks are still out there for sure. And with that, we have a lot of people living here in Camas that work from home. And so a lot of these are my clients. My clients a lot of times work from home and you know, they're in some sort of STEM field, maybe they're executives, perhaps they're business owners. And so a lot of people, they don't even have to leave their house to work anymore, it's crazy. Let's talk about the schools in Camas. Now remember when you're looking for schools wherever you're moving to always do your own independent research because we are limited to what we can say to an extent. 
But what I will say is that the schools in Canvas are really well loved. Um, people just gravitate towards them and they tend to be very highly ranked in all the different ranking systems out there. We also have strong community support and very strong sports programs. Uh, what I will say about that is if your kids are not really athletic and super high level, then they might not make the team. And so if you want them to have a little bit more of an experience and you know they're not the best athlete, maybe a different school district is the best fit, but we are very competitive for sports and we are constantly winning state titles for all the sports. It's just one school district here in Camas. It's really a pretty small school district overall since the population of the town is somewhere in that 25,000 mark right now. We have one high school, we've got two middle schools, and then, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head the number of elementaries, it's a handful. We do have an alternative middle school and a high school, but the main ones, we've got one high school, two middle schools. Let's talk about downtown. Downtown Camas is such a picturesque place to be and it's one of the reasons why people love living here and it's why they choose to come to Camas, I find. Third Avenue is our main street that kind of runs through downtown Camas and you're gonna find everything on this street from boutiques to restaurants to coffee shops. Um, some of my favorites are Mesa is a great Tex-Mex Mexican spot. Love going to lunch there with friends. Um, Hidden River Roasters is my favorite coffee shop. It's in an old house, which is kind of fun. It's been renovated, it's turned into a coffee shop now. Um, there's sushi spots. There's like a steakhouse down there. Uh, Grains of Wrath is a pub that has like burgers, beer, stuff like that. Um, there's a yoga studio. We have the library. People love the library in downtown Camas. It's actually very nice. We do have a Safeway in downtown Camas for grocery shopping. So you can get all of your stuff there if you want. Safeway is a little bit more expensive than like a Fred Meyer or a Winco or a Walmart. And you're gonna find Fred Meyer, Winco, Walmart and other stores over in East Vancouver. And that's about 10 minutes away from Camas. Let's talk about the cost of living in Camas. As I shared with you earlier, the median household income in Camas is significantly higher than Vancouver, in, or excuse me, Clark County. Clark County was 90,000, Camas is about 133,000. So, okay, we're $40,000 more expensive. That's almost, or more, we make more money. We're about 50% close-ish more in income, and that's about true for housing as well. Uh, housing is the biggest indicator of how affordable or unaffordable a place is gonna be to live. Right now in Clark County, the median sale price is in the 520 to 530 mark, but in Camas, it's in that 730 to 740 mark. And so we're almost 50% more expensive for housing in Camas than we are in Clark County. If you're looking to purchase a home, you're gonna find that the same home in Camas depending on which price range it in is, how nice it is, if it's been remodeled, it's gonna be 100 to maybe up to $300,000 more expensive for the exact same thing in Camas than it is gonna be in Vancouver. That price premium largely comes from, you know, the draw in the community, the openness of the area. We've got lots of beautiful parks um, and trees around, and of course, the schools. Let's talk about taxes. Does it make a significant difference to live in Camas versus Vancouver or other parts of Clark County for taxes? Well, let's talk about sales tax first. Sales tax is dependent on state, county, and city. And so it has different pieces to the puzzle. So if you're in different cities, your sales tax might be slightly different. Camas and Vancouver sales taxes are pretty close. I was trying to do some research. I was finding some different numbers, but it's gonna be in that 8.5 to 8.7 range. It's not gonna be so significantly different. I think that it would sway where you live. It's gonna be uh, less than 1% difference. As for um, income tax, we don't have state income tax here, so you don't have to worry about that regardless of which city you live in. But for um, property tax, that is something you should always be aware of. Now, our property taxes here in Clark County, I think are pretty reasonable for where our home values are at and the lifestyle that we provide. It's about 1% of the lagging value of your home, the assessed value of your home, assessed by the county, not by your sales price. Your tax rate is parsed out into all the different districts you're in, water district, sewer district, um, school district, all of those little things. And so it can change even within a certain city, your property tax on the west side of Vancouver versus the east side of Vancouver can be different. But what I find here in Camas is that we're slightly higher, but not so much higher that it would change most people's mind for living in the area. 
I would say maybe a couple hundred dollars a year to, if you're in the higher price point, maybe a couple thousand dollars a year, but um, it's not gonna be too much beyond that. So if you want to do some more research on property taxes, I would suggest you check out the GIS, the Geographical Information Services for Clark County, and you research individual property taxes on there. So what does the future of Camas Washington look like? Well, I think it looks very bright. We are a growing city and the city is planning for another 10,000 people to move into the area over the next 20 years or so. And they're trying to plan for that growth. The reality is we can't stop people from moving here. There's no way we can put up a wall and say, hey, no more moving, right? We're in the United States of America. We have open borders between states. People can move here as they see fit. But our city does have to prepare for that growth. And so that's why they're working on the North Shore development right now. I have a whole video up about the North Shore development, so be sure to go check that out. And um, some things have changed since I made that video. I should probably make an updated one but it's very informative and you should know that the city of Camas will be expanding over the coming decades. Home values in Camas will continue to go up as it becomes a more desirable place to live and as more people continue to flock here from other cities in the county and other parts around the United States. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was super helpful to you if you're interested in moving to Camas, Washington. And if you're looking for professional realtor representation, myself and my team would love the opportunity to serve you please send us an email, text us, or send us a DM on Instagram, Hannah Dubine, and we can't wait to hear from you soon. Bye.